It's Pokemon card season. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> to be fair, it's always Pokemon card season. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it with more Pokemon card binder finds. Once again, I went home to visit my parents and part of my trip there was also to collect many of my Pokemon paraphernalias. AKA, I had to clean out the Poke Cave and in there I found a lot of old school binders. I'm doing a series right now where we're basically running through all of my Pokemon card collections. So guys, be sure to check out our channel if you miss some of these videos. But today we're gonna be taking a look at my promo card binders. This is paper with a piece of scotch tape, just but also promo binder number two. But like I mentioned, there are a lot of different kinds of cards in here, ranging from some of the newer ones to some of the very, very old ones. <laughs> I can't wait, dude, I can't wait. One of my favorite little blister pack promos right there is this Axie with his little berry. Look at the cute little boy with his cute little berry. Oh. This is one of my favorite pre-release promos of all time. Crobat from Plasma Storm. Dude, homie straight flexing out here. That background is sick. We have got some full arts in here. These are from some very, very cool premium collection boxes or some kind of like really big collection box. I don't think they're premium collection boxes. This one came in a blister. I remember the Plasma Storm blister. Plasma Storm cards are really pricey now. So I'm happy that I was able to collect those when I did. Uh, but yeah, so this one came, actually there was like a, I believe it was a Sylveon collection box that had every single evolution in it, all of them. So all of those were from the same promo box. That was a really fun one to open. I'm pretty sure that one's still live on our channel if you wanna see us unbox that. <laughs> it would have been from like, what, 2014, 2013? It would have been from 2013, but you know, whatever. It'd still be kind of fun, huh? So this, we're getting into full-blown EX territory. So these are all mostly from tins and actual like collection boxes. And you can see Pokemon went a little bit overboard with the just intense amount of them. These two are Japanese. I remember opening those while we were at like, uh, it's either national championships or worlds or something. I feel like I don't have a ton of Japanese promos, but every once in a while one will pop up. I think I have some old school ones that are Japanese, but here is another full page. There's so much just like ultra rare pizzazz, like right in your face with these. Why is there so much going on? This whole page just has so much going on. And then this one's just a nice refreshing holographic page. You know, you gotta take a nice breather. 2014 classics right here. Love that ditto. Absolutely adore the ditto. Groudon Kyogre and Rayquaza. These ones came in a fun little blister pack, Aru one, two. So we have Tyrant, Tyrantrum, Fossil Researcher, Amora, Aurorus. And those actually just retained their actual set logo. Like they're technically still cards from Furious Fist, but they have that extra special holographic pattern on all of them. And this Pikachu is, is gorgeous. Absolutely adore the Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu wearing a Charizard outfit. <sighs> He's perfect. That one's definitely not mint condition. There are some of the cards in here. It's funny because I like choose that one to single out to look at and it's just like scratched. But a lot of these are in actually, you know, mint to near mint condition depending on how they were packaged. Pokemon had a harder time keeping the cards um, like completely mint because you know, like the corner, like the tops of them would get nicked because they were like, you know, in some kind of plastic thing. So I think as time went on, Pokemon got better at, you know, kind of maintaining the quality of some of the promo cards in general. Cause yeah, you just get some with some weird edge wear or something from the packaging that they were in. These are fantastic. Also, I did just skip over. Oh, the boundaries cross bangers right there. The three starters with that super special holographic pattern. Wow, wow. So I said boundaries crossed, but these are actually from all three different sets. Dark Explorers, Boundaries Crossed, and Plasma Blast right there. More, more promos. Here are some league promos. We got Pokemon Championships, the City Championship. This one, State Province Territory is what that says. Jeez. Let me get my magnifying glass out for that. This looks like it's the last page of our more recent holographics, and that's just, you know, within the last, like, 10 years kind of holographics. Most of these are from 2013, 2014. I feel like this is the part that y'all have been waiting for. This is, you know, I love all Pokemon cards equally, except I like these ones more. 
<laughs> specifically vintage old school southern islands guys these are some of the rarest old school promo cards southern the southern islands collection i have the complete complete set of these southern islands cards these came in a very very cool promo binder that included all 18 cards it came with three packs of vintage pokemon cards guys these cards we are gonna get a close-up on these ones are actually mint condition straight from the package i sleeved them all up put them in here i can't say they're gem mint because some of the old cards did get uh like some edge wear and stuff really easily but i absolutely adore these because togepi and mew are two of my favorite pokemon two of my three favorite pokemon not my favorite of course you guys know i love growlith but seriously the fact that both of them are in this set is crazy i adore them i also got a ten of cool this meryl is wonderful i remember getting that as a little kid and we didn't have card sleeves when i was growing up so at the time and actually i think i might have held on to this card hold on it might actually be in here <gasps> oh okay we'll get to it in a second I'll, I'll t i have a good story to tell for that meryl you know what i'm gonna tell it now i'm gonna tell it now this meryl and this slow king my brother and i had as kids these are the two pokemon cards that we had growing up instead of using card sleeves because once again i didn't i honestly don't even think we knew that those existed until way later like we definitely had binder pages and stuff but we didn't have actual individual card sleeves so my dad fashioned a a makeshift card sleeve out of a ziploc bag and some pieces of tape and it i mean it worked these aren't okay so here's the thing you know how gross kids can be. These are clearly not mint condition. They're clearly not mint. There's a couple of nicks, but these are some of the best condition cards from my childhood because of that. This is sentimental. These are sentimental cards. So anyway, shout out to my dad for helping me keep my cards safe even when I was like five years old. <laughs> in my later YouTubing career, I did open up the whole set of Southern Islands and look at it in all of its glory. Oh my. Moving on, we also have some Meowth promos. I have one that's sealed, one that is loose. This is the collector in me wanting to have like the sealed version and the play version, but I did this for quite a few of them where I had a regular one and then I had one that was still in its original packaging. So we've got the Meowth, that one is definitely played. That one should be relatively mint. Togepi, Entei, I did the same thing with the Ancient Mew. So this is the original Ancient Mew promo. Check it out here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this was one of the coolest promo cards of all time. You know, I should have started with this chunk. Well, you know what? It's a nice reward if you suck around through the whole video. Uh, you got to see a lot of the 2012 to 2015 era cards and then also the uh, the vintage ones as well. So this is the one that I have that's out of the original packaging. The reason this one is backwards is because in its original packaging, hi hey y'all, it, you can't see it. You literally can't see the front of it. I don't know why they did it. So this one is sealed. I, I do prefer to have them sealed. However, in the future, if I decide to get some of these cards graded, I'm gonna try to like analyze that through to see if it's worth taking out of the packaging to see if I may have a 10. These ones are actually like really, this, this row down here, these are pretty rare ones. Birthday Pikachu, put your name there if you want. Venusaur. I actually do not recall where that one came from. This is the movie promo Dragonite. One of my favorite old school promo cards that's just like basic with this stamp. I miss this stamp. So in addition on these to having the Black Star promo stamp, they have this really cool golden stamp up here. And this one says, Kids WB presents Pokemon the first movie. So this is a Pokemon the first movie promo. Obviously Dragonite was in the first movie. So you got your Dragonite promo card right there. This one actually looks pretty nice oh my gosh i'm like looking through my old stuff and i'm seeing how many pokemon cards i have i feel like i i want to kind of like secure the condition of some of these just because i know i've kept some of them in phenomenal condition for like 15 years surfing pikachu regular pikachu pokemon the first movie pikachu this is another one uh i believe from the same promo release as the uh the dragonite one you got uh yeah kids wb presents pokemon the first First movie right there once again that's a, st a stunning 
stunning stamp right there. I'm trying to remember how many different Pokemon in the first movie promos they had, and I honestly, I can't remember. We've got our legendary birds here, Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno, all spewing their elements out of their various orifices. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not really spewing it out of an orifice, but we've got ice, we've got fire, we've got zippy zappies. You guys have to have remembered these ones. This row right here, in fact, like this page really, at least for me, Nostalgia Central, because like I remember as a young kid having this card. Like, you remember getting this from somewhere. Like, these were classic, classic Pokemon cards. You look at cards like that and it makes you like reflect and remember your childhood and it like takes you back. It like transports you back in time to when you were a kid. Anyway, this card right here, once again, we already talked about these Southern Islands ones. Very sentimental. This is obviously the rarest pre-release promo that I personally own, but I think this might have been, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I believe this was the very first pre-release promo that they ever made. So that is the first promo binder, but the second one is a lot of the more recent ones. These are all from the mythical collection boxes that came out for Pokemon's 20th anniversary. They had a Pokemon collection box a month for a total of 12 boxes. These are gorgeous promo cards. So Pokemon's 20th anniversary was a banger, if I do say so myself. I had such a good time opening all these boxes and taking a look at these super, like just super well done promo cards. Like look at these, the Mew and the Mewtwo. Yeah, those are just, they're fantastic. And those were promos. The Mega Beedrill box, the Mega Salamence box, the Mega, dude, these Mega Dragon boxes, the Salamence and the Garchomp, were freaking gigantic. They came with a playmat, they came with like eight packs. They were so expensive. I believe they were like 60 bucks a box. Oh, look at this little guy. So we got a couple of breaks here and then, oh, oh, what is this? What is, did I get another, so oh, I got multiple Southern Islands Togepies. This Psyduck is adorable and also in wonderful condition. You'll love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, here's some more from more promo boxes. Promos on promos. These are some League promo cards right there. Some more from, this was a whole series of EX boxes that they came out with. All of these were literally set up the exact same way, had the exact packs in them. They all came with a promo card and four packs. Even more cards here. Some of these are coming from blister packs. Uh, these little guys are from check lane blisters, I'm pretty sure. The mega boxes were, that was a great run of, uh, of promo boxes. I'm not sure if you guys opened any of those, but they had quite a few that featured, you know, regular camera up and mega camera up so you could get the whole set of them if you wanted to battle with it. You literally got the box and you got the whole line of stuff to use. You get the spirit link with it too. So those were great. Here are some of the derpiest looking cereal box promos I have ever seen. Pikachu, Eevee is the one I'm talking about. Look at his, <laughs> the spacing on Eevee's eyes. They did him dirty, dude. They did Eevee dirty on that one. We got team up right here. We got an adorable Pikachu, Eevee. So this was, I'm assuming, around the time that Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee was out and about. We also got a Zapdos from Team Up as well. I'm sure I, I either went to multiple pre-releases or I traded for that. Here are some Burning Shadows pre-release promos as well as one Celestial Storm. And these are actually just Japanese cards. These are not promos. So I'm not even sure why they're in here, but that gorgeous Mewtwo, oh my God. Bro, these ones are beautiful, beautiful holographics. The Japanese cards, like you, you can like sense the quality difference. Honestly, it's like pretty noticeable how much better quality the Japanese ones are. And of course, per any binder that Danny has ever, we've got our page of holographic energies. So here are the, uh, it says Pokemon break on them right there. These ones are really pretty. This one is from Generations. These ones are from Evolutions. Don't ask me why I know that off the top of my head. It's because I adore them once again. And of course, our full page of Togekiss Hollows. One of my old YouTube friends, Team Booster Break, he would literally just send me so many Togekisses for literally no reason. So now I have hella Plasma Storm Togekisses. In fact, I have 18 of them. If you know anyone who needs one, <laughs> you let me know because I have too many now. Guys, let me know what you thought of these. Let me know if this brought back any memories for you. And also, of course, let me know what your favorite 
promo card was. I am an avid fan, of course, of the, the old school vintage ones. So these ones, seriously, trip down memory lane. Also, this complete set of Southern Islands is, if I didn't mention it before, I'm pretty sure I alluded to it. This is an extremely rare set. So to have the complete set in mint is a really, really cool part of my collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you saw some new cards that you maybe hadn't seen before. Once again, I wanted to make these to, you know, just showcase my collection and maybe show you guys some cards that you haven't seen uh, because they're old or because they're just like obscure or weird or whatever. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like and feel free to subscribe to our channel if you have not already. We post a lot of Pokemon videos. Also, what is your favorite promo card that you personally own? Because you guys just saw me geek out about mine for far too long. I want to know about your guys as well. So feel free to tweet me some pictures, send me some on Instagram, whatever. But guys, I hope you're having a great day and continue to have a great day and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!